So all France has been watching this appointment very carefully, if for no other reason than to see if the IMF was going to break with tradition. Jackie Rowland is in Paris for us. Jackie, Madame Lagarde admitted once that being a European was not necessarily an asset for an IMF candidate, but she got the job anyway. Was that because she was the best candidate or was it a carve up? Lots of, there was a lot of admiration for her. Um, she's seen to have done the job of French finance minister very competently. And in particular, there's been a lot of international appreciation for her role in trying to deal with the fair, various crises across the Eurozone. Greece, obviously a very pertinent subject at the moment, but also Ireland and Portugal. I think it was felt that because Europe is one of the main focuses at the moment for the IMF's attention, as we said, um, all of these debt crises across Europe and in particular needs to um, introduce austerity programs, particularly at the moment in Greece. It was felt that a European, someone who understood the European system would probably be best placed now. And so, yes, it's maintained the tradition, this traditional um, carve up, if you like, of the IMF to a European and the World Bank um, to an American. But on this particular occasion, it's felt, it's felt that there were actually um, objective um, arguments in favour of keeping that IMF post right now in European hands. And uh, the cynics would say her appointment will certainly mean all the skeletons in the cupboard will stay in the cupboard uh, as opposed to somebody from outside uh, Europe who might well see the situation a little more clearly. But certainly what is definite is that the Euro crisis will be her first crisis and an urgent one for her to deal with. Very much so, yes. And in fact, her president uh, at the moment, um, President Sarkozy, I mean, she is, of course, st still at the moment his finance minister. He was speaking um, just a, more than just over 24 hours ago, specifically about that crisis. Very, very strong affirmation um, in favor of supporting the euro, keeping countries in the eurozone, really seeing that there is no other option. So if we bear in mind that this is, if you like, the kind of political environment that she's coming from, um, we can expect to see um, that kind of commitment to preserving the euro, to doing everything possible to keep um, the euro the viable currency that it has been. Um, and obviously, as you say, that is going to be her most urgent preoccupation. On the other hand, because there was such a debate uh, just before her nomination about whether it was time to break this cosy arrangement between Europe and the US, whether it was time to bring in a candidate from a developing economy. I think one of the things that she will be expected to do is in the way that she distributes various portfolios within the bank to demonstrate to people from um, emerging economies that they do have a role to play in the IMF. And I think that they will be, you were talking before about skeletons in closets, I think that people will be looking at what she does with the position and how she actually seeks to put her mark on the IMF and maybe make the way that the organization operates and who holds senior positions there more reflective of the way in which the financial center of gravity in, in the world today is moving away from Europe and North America. Very interesting. Jackie, thank you very much indeed. Jackie Rowland in Paris.